hi and good morning my dear students welcome back to literature class we have started with my home environment by from my reminiscences by rabindranath tagore this is the third video of the chapter let's recapitulate the story the author rabindranath tagore has tried to portray his childhood days literary and artistic atmosphere prevailed at his home he was very much influenced by his two cousin janendranath tagore and gunendranath tagore both of them were literary figure and theater personality now to yesterday we dealt with page number 28 and 29 and today we are going to start from page number 30 so uh, let's start the first paragraph says i recall how a trifling circumstances earned for me the special regard of cousin gunendra now the word trifling trifling here means small and not important once a very small incident happened which aroused a great regard for the cousin gunendra in rabindranath tagore's heart and mind never had i got a prize at the school except once for good conduct of the three of us my nephew satya was the best at his lessons he once did well at some examination and was awarded a prize means satya was very uh, good in academics so he was awarded with a prize as we came home i jumped off the carriage to give the great news to my cousin who was in the garden satya has got a prize i shouted as i ran to him he drew me to his knees with a smile and have you not got a prize he asked no said i not i it's satya my genuine pleasure at satya's success seemed to touch my cousin particularly he turned to his friends and remarked on it as a very creditable trait here the author was very happy on his nephew's that is satya's success for coming for some academic prize he has got in his school days and being so happy on some other success is a creditable trait this behavior was very much appreciated and admired by his cousin brother gunendra and his cousin share this incident with his friends even coming to the next paragraph after the midday meal cousin gunendra would attend the state offices in our part of the house the office room of our, of our elders was a sort of a club where laughter and conversation were freely mixed with matters of business my cousin would recline uh, on a couch and i would see some opportunity of edging up to him now he says that apart from being a literary figure cousin gunendra also used to take care of the estate the office room was a sort of a club where people gathered and they had laughter and conversation and the author never missed the chance to be there another quality which he had tried to describe about his cousin gunendra coming to the third paragraph in the mid of the third paragraph it is said i need hardly state that my cousin was not a severe critic in point of fact the opinions he expressed would have done splendidly as advertisements nonetheless when in any of my poetry my childishness become became too obtrusive he could not restrain his hearty ha 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 
the word obtrusive means noticeable or prominent and the restrain the word restrain means keep under control the meanings is given towards the side of the chapter here a means the rabindranath tagore you started writing poetry at an early stage at uh, very early in the stay um, from the age of 8 rabindranath tagore started writing his poems and creative skills started giving showing his creative skills so whenever he used to write he showed it to his cousin gunendra which was highly appreciated and admired it was well appreciated by the cousin gunendra nath tagore and the last two paragraph says one day it was a poem on mother india and as at the end of one line the only rhyme i could think of meant a cart i had to drag in that cart in spite of there not being the vestige of a road by which it could reasonably arrive the word vestige a small part of something that remains the first poem written by him at that age mother india his cousin brother gunendra used to appreciate his poetry and whenever he felt that he is childish in his writing he used to give he could not restrain himself and used to give a hearty smile on his creative writings so students today we will be dealing till here the next class further will be trying to complete the chapter just few questions i want to ask you for your self assessment please um, look into the questions and try to answer the answer it the first question what kind of atmosphere pervaded in the house second question name the author's two cousins next who died at an early age next question what was author's response when he saw the performances done by his cousin brothers and the last one for what did the author got prize during his school days i hope you will be able to answer the questions read the chapter thoroughly so that you will be able to answer the questions which are there at the back of your book meet you in the next video till then goodbye and thank you